Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, interview that is promoted by uh, the BioVoices of the Glaucos project, uh, both founded by uh, Horizon uh, 2020. Um, today, we're going to talk about um, uh, blue bioeconomy, and we have these uh, young guys that are going to tell us about uh, an hackathon they have participated to. And, uh, and I, I would just leave the, the word to you guys if you want to share your presentation and, uh, and you can start. Thank you very much uh, for giving us this chance to share um, our hackathon and, and the solution that we came up with. Um, we'll, we'll tell a bit more about the hackathon, but we basically came up with um, fish-based biodegradable solutions for the fishing industry. Um, and I'll, I'll let everyone kind of introduce themselves, um, uh, all the team members um, who worked on the hackathon. So Ariana, do you want to start? Of course. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Ariana Alba. I am from Peru, and I'm doing a Master of Science in Bioeconomy at the University of Hohenheim. I got interested in this subject because I, I did an internship in Honduras uh, for a plastic reduction initiative. This included a lot of outreach and a lot of um, beach cleanups. And so I saw firsthand the amount of plastic pollution that washes out in these island environments. And so I'm very excited to participate. Hello, my name is Jasmin Kitzman. I'm also studying at the University of Hohenheim Economics. Um, and due to my job as a student trainee, I got interested in this topic because I gained a lot of experience in sus sustainability management um, and sustainability marketing. Hello, good morning. My name is Diego Crisostomo. I'm also Peruvian and I'm also a bioeconomy student in the Master of the University of Hohenheim. Uh, I have previous knowledge and experience working with uh, waste management projects and recycling projects in Peru. So uh, I, I found this uh, opportunity really interesting to uh, help the, the ocean to be more clean. And hello everyone, my name is Sean Ronkmar. I'm a PhD student um, in economic sociology at the University of Milan, but uh, doing a visiting period at the University of Hohenheim. Um, and I have uh, some experience with um, circular economy and sustainability consulting um, and uh, was really interested in the, in the hackathon and, and got a chance to work uh, with Ariana and Yasmin and Diego uh, on this project. So it was very exciting to, to come up with these solutions uh, over the weekend hackathon that we, that we had. Hello to everyone. I'm Philip Yellen. I'm from Chile. I'm currently finishing my, my master's study, agribusiness here at the University of Hohenheim. I hold a bachelor degree in agronomy in Chile, and for the last two years, I'm working also in the circular economy in Chile. Basically, I'm um, giving consultancy to a leading company in the circular economy who's uh, upgrading the mussel shells. Chile is um, the second largest uh, mussel producer in the world. So it, it's an industry that produces a lot of waste, obviously, byproducts. And this company, since 10 years, upgrading these mussel shells um, into producing acline, specifically for the agricultural field. And my job is uh, to increase and, and, and to create new opportunities for this waste and for, for, for other like byproducts from the fishing industry. And I'm super excited about the project to, to add value on this project and um, yeah I'm, I'm super excited about this this new opportunity okay thank you guys so now um, please tell us about uh, everything about the project the hackathon and, uh, and we are really curious to to hear from you great okay. um, Yasmin do you want to tell them about the hackathon yeah I do. So um, the University of Hohenheim organized this year a Greenovation Hackathon. It was a three-day virtual event um, where student teams from all over Germany develop products and services for a sustainable economy. During this event, we developed our idea and we got help of experienced mentors and entrepreneurs that helped us to move our idea forward.
Yeah. Okay, as you all know, um, there's around 8 million tons of plastic in the ocean yearly. So there's around 46% of the Great Pacific Ocean, Great Pacific garbage, um, it's made up of fishing nets. So at our project, we were uh, focused at fish aggregating devices. So fish aggregating devices are structures that are used to aggregate fish to make them easier to catch. Um, there are around 21,000 fish aggregating devices deployed every year for several days or weeks. Around 10% are lost or abandoned and contribute to the ocean. So our solution basically focused on these fish aggregating devices and we tried to find a way to develop more, a more biodegradable solution. Um, so we kind of developed a, um, a more circular design based on bio-based and biodegradable materials. Um, and we found that um, it's actually possible to make biofibers from, from fish scales and fish waste from the, the fish processing industry. So our design kind of looked at how we can utilize these fibers um, to create these fish aggregating devices. So the ropes and the nettings would be produced from these biofibers and we would kind of design it so that they'd be uniquely suited to the saltwater environment um, and, and kind of uh, create a solution in case these devices are lost, um, that they can somehow biodegrade in the oceans and contribute nutrients back um, to the oceans. <clears throat> and these fish aggregating devices are mainly used for tuna. So we also looked at what kind of countries and what kind of markets in the EU um, are focused on, on tuna. And we found that Spain and France are by large the largest countries that um, have tuna fishing. So our initial kind of focus in Europe will be on, on these markets in, in Spain and France uh, for tuna fishing. Uh, also because Europe has kind of very strict regulations for these fish aggregating devices. So our solution would be perfectly suited uh, for the industry uh, and provide them with a, a viable alternative. Okay, our business model uh, focuses on a circular economy where we try to use the fish waste from the fish industry to manufacture fish equipment for the same industry, in this case, the fats. The first thing is to design the logistic to provide our processing plant with fish waste from the industry for its transformation. In this stage, it's very important to decide the geographical location of the plant so that the transport of waste does not generate a problem and to establish the appropriate suppliers. The next step is the transformation of the fish waste into biopolymers to finally develop our first biodegradable fat with a finite lifespan to benefit the marine environment. We have reviewed many previous research where fish scales and skin are used to develop bioplastic, very similar to the low density polyethylene or bio nylon. And we seek to develop our own formula for the development of biopolymers and then be able to manufacture our fats. Finally, the distribution and sales of our products to the tuna fishing industry, and in this way to close this uh, loop with the, this economy. Our social impact, uh, with our product, we want to solve um, another great problem, which is the fish waste from the industrial fishing. Every year uh, in the world, the, uh, the fisheries exceeds 20 million tons, equivalent to 25% of the total pro pro production of fishery waste. And only in the European Union, these waste represent a total of 5.2 million of tons per year of waste fish. Another problem we want to tackle is the bioremediation. We seek that our product can biodegrade in the ocean at the end of the useful life and in this way be able to return nutrients to the ocean. So looking ahead on what are the things that we need to continue working on, that is a lot, it's uh, we have to continue looking for fundings and partnerships to be able to help us through our research. 
We need to do a specific stakeholder analysis for the market that we're trying to enter and also for all the available researchers and think tanks that can help us put our product forward. Uh, regarding our intermediate product that would be the biopolymer, we need to test a lot. We need to do a prototype that meets all the technical uh, criteria that is could be durable, but at the same biodegradable, that it has a salt water resistant, and of course, um, that it has this bioremediation quality to it. We have to continue researching on the formula and what are the resources that we need in order to accomplish it. And for our final product, that would be the fish aggregating device, we want to make a, an eco design and engineer. And so putting all these sustainability aspects into action and create a very nice sustainable prototype. Uh, and further to this, we have to do our market analysis for the industry uh, that we have chosen, which is uh, the tuna industry uh, in Spain. And lastly, we want to make sure that um, there is an environmental assessment to our product and we are going to run a life cycle assessment that we can give a quantitative uh, information regarding the type of emissions and the quantity of emissions that our circular product is producing. And in a couple of more years further back in the future, we would like to diversify our product portfolio. So not just focus on the fishing aggregating devices, but just continue contributing to the industry, to the fishing industry, therefore developing additional fishing gears, helping out in the textile industry to give out the fishermen proper attire that is bio um, made from fish waste, and also to continue researching on biopolymers to support the chemical industry for other products such as coatings or paints for the fishing industry. And that's our kind of idea. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, for allowing us to share it. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Well, I think you, you thought uh, very well uh, everything. I mean, from the starting to, to the end, also you know, the business plan. And uh, I guess you're going to try to continue by finding uh, unique funds or projects that can uh, finance you. And of course, of course, of, uh, you know, being part of Glaucos that uh, is about, uh, you know, uh, fishing gear and then textile uh, for clothing, uh, we will be very interested on in following you know, your, your process and, and share and contribute uh, also for you, you know, to giving you a help on, on finding maybe the right channels and the right network to, to proceed. So um, I will stop here and uh, well, good luck for, for the future. And, uh, and uh, well, I will stop here. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much. Bye guys. Bye bye. bye.